Staying compliant is important for the success of a business. Who ever knew that choosing a business name could jeopardize that legal compliance? In today's video, I am going to talk to you about how to choose a business name that is legally compliant. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm the managing attorney here at Freedom Through Business, where we help entrepreneurs just like you start your businesses, grow your businesses, while staying legally compliant. The purpose of these videos are to provide you with as much clarity and guidance in the beginning stages of starting a business. So if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that like, subscribe, as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. These videos are for educational purposes only. And so make sure you speak with a professional prior to doing anything. With that side note out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about how to choose a business name that is legally compliant. When starting an LLC, deciding on a business name is one of the first steps. The first step in staying legally compliant when choosing a business name is to ensure that the business name you plan to use is available. The way you can do this is you can go onto the Secretary of State website and you can search the business name you plan to use. Now, depending on where you live, each Secretary of State website is different. If you live in California, you're going to want to search the California Secretary of State data, database, database. If you live in Florida, then you're going to want to search the Florida Secretary of State business database. The process is very simple. As you can see here, all you have to do is go onto Google, type in Secretary of State business search, here, because I live in California, it will show the California Secretary of State website. Once I click on it, all I have to do here is enter in my preferred business name. Once I enter it in, it will provide me with the results. It will either say that this name is completely available, there are zero users of this business name, or it will show results that this business name is already taken. In short, an entrepreneur is going to want to search the Secretary of State website prior to choosing a preferred business name. The last thing you want to do is choose a business name. You start building your business plan around that business name. You start your marketing, etc. You start creating business cards, you start handing them out. Come to find out that that business name is actually not available. Avoid any additional costs, fees, expenses, and lost time by searching the Secretary of State website. The second step an entrepreneur is going to want to do in order to ensure that legal compliance is taking place when choosing a business name is they're going to want to search the trade name registry. Again, this process is very simple, but it is a process that needs to be done. The federal trade name is a database that contains all of the current registered trade names. A currently, a currently registered trade name cannot be used by another entrepreneur. If an entrepreneur uses that trade name or something similar to that trade name, they're at risk of potential civil liability. Of course, you want to avoid that, and that's why you search the Federal Trademark Registry. All you have to do is go on Google, search on Google Federal Trade Name registrar here it will pop up you click the link you enter in the name here just to make sure that the name is available and it will again similar to the secretary of state website it will show whether or not the name is currently available this is the second step make sure to check the federal trade name registrar the third step an entrepreneur is going to want to take is they're going to want to make sure to clarify their corporate ending what i mean by corporate ending is when it comes to a llc you can have a variation of corporate endings. You can have XYZ LLC, that's one example. You can have XYZ L dot L dot C, that's another example. You can have XYZ Limited Liability Company, etc. Corporate ending is very important and it is a preferred choice. And so make sure you designate the way you want the LLC to appear at the end of your business name. For a majority of entrepreneurs, they like the basic LLC, but there are some that like the entire acronym spelled out, limited liability company. In short, just make sure to clarify the corporate ending. The fourth step an entrepreneur is going to want to make is they're going to want to make sure that 
their business filings are all up to date. Now, what do I mean by this? If an entrepreneur starts an LLC, but they eventually change the business name, then they're going to want to do what's called an amendment. An amendment is when you change the original business name into a new name. An amendment can be filed with the Secretary of State, but the process does not end there. An entrepreneur will then need to notify the IRS of the business name change as well. And so an entrepreneur looking to make business name changes to their LLC, they're going to want to make sure to notify the correct parties, which include the Secretary of State, as well as the IRS. When updating a business name, the specific filing to the Secretary of State is called the Statement of Information. When providing notice to the IRS of the business name change, this can be done upon the tax filing. If you happen to have any questions about anything that I talked about in today's video, then make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below and we will do our best to get back to you as soon as possible. If you happen to enjoy this video, please make sure you hit the like, subscribe, as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. It's time to invest in yourself. It's time to rise.